at CRS in Nashville. It is the 50th CRS, I think. That's bananas. It is bananas. It's not my 50th. I'm not that old yet. Mine neither. Well, that's I don't good. think. Yeah. Well, we're still good. I mean, if you were 50, you'd look amazing for 50. You know, maybe that's, maybe I'll do the opposite. I'll start telling people I'm real, like, I'm actually 67. Yeah, dude, you look so good for 67. <laughs> Thank you. You look good for whatever age you actually are, too, though. I did compliment you 9,000 times you before are very, I started mean, rolling. Uh, like, seriously, I, thank you. You're welcome. Because, you know, I did not wake up like that. <laughs> Hello, CRS. It is what it is, you know? We all just do the best we can. So I guess we should probably talk about some things like your music. Oh, yes, that's um, why we're here. I mean, I'm so excited. You should be. So excited. So since we last talked, you've had your Opry, de Opry debut. Yes. So exciting. Can you tell us about it? Uh, my Opry debut was last April, and it... It was everything you think it will be times a million. I mean, for me as an artist, when I stood in that circle, something changed in me. And I think that part of that is I earned I earned it, so that makes it so much more gratifying in every step of the way. And also thinking back to that little girl with these giant dreams. I got on the Opry, I got on the Opry stage, you know? And the second time they called, Hi, would you like to play again? Yes. And yeah, duh. It was at the Ryman. Oh, dude. So I got to make my debut at the Ryman with the Opry. And it, it's just the coolest. And they're having me back. Yay, good. On the 22nd of February, our single, our single If I Was a Cowboy, which is out at radio, goes you know worldwide for streaming and purchasing. And uh, so it's very exciting. So I get to play the Opry that night. So exciting. I know. Uh, oh. I was going to ask you about the new single. Um, yes. So are, does that mean there's a new album on the horizon? There's a new album on the horizon. I am so, it's almost all recorded already, and we just started working on it because the songs are just coming out of me. We're awesome. finding songs. This, the sound of the music makes complete sense. Everything about it just feels really right. That's beautiful. It's cool. It's really exciting. I can't wait to play it. Like, what's hard to is it. to not hold, like, not being able to play the songs, you know, because you gotta like, we gotta have, to have secrets, secrets, and you know, mystery. Yeah, I'm not yeah. very good at being mysterious. Mystery. I have yeah. the same problem. I'm not Something, mysterious. Yeah. No, no, I'm just uh, looking at the camera. Oh, that's just good. Just giving them some really awkward eyes. It's beautiful. Just yeah, zoom way awkward, in on the eyes. Awkward is good. <laughs> awkward is my brand. I I like awkward. I spell it with a Q. Ooh. This conversation isn't <laughs> awkward with a Q. I love you. I love you too. This is lovely. Um, we made boomerangs today. We're having a great day. Yeah. I mean, that music is so rockin'. It's like having Rush play. Okay, this was this is another first time. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna hear my guinea pig today. That's right. So I'm gonna <laughs> wait on this one. What you got, girl? Stephanie Quayle. If you could turn back time. Ooh. I love her. Dot, dot, dot. I'd give it all to you. Well, yeah, but I mean, like, what would you, it's a question. Oh. It's, I need to work on oh. this. Oh, sorry. I no, it's I'll, my bad. Turn back on where I hurt you. See, you that's bad planning because I'm asking this to people who words, sing, and it's just going to make me look worse. Making it up. Uh, if I could turn back time. Where, like, where would you go? Like, if you had a time oh, machine. If I had, oh, which is, would be awesome. If I could turn back time. I, you know what? Probably being a little kid on the farm and just being like, hey, kid, like, really enjoy this because this is awesome. Most people don't get to, like, you know, run around a field with bison. Come on. That does sound pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's talk about Ugly. Yes. Your video. We're going to wow. show that here in a second. Thank you guys for sharing that video. Love it. That song, you know, when we heard the song had to record it the message of the song you know when you're thinking about the visual aspect of it because I feel music videos are so powerful especially when you're learning about new artists this video you, you we couldn't have really dreamed it up better because the women in the video came to us naturally we didn't go on a casting like we're looking for it was like hey do you know someone that fits this story that wants to share theirs because it's very vulnerable and to be willing to share where you've been to show where you are, where you're headed, is is awesome. It's and I got to spend important. time interviewing these women, kind of like we're doing, and just learning about their why. And uh, it's powerful. Special song. 
Absolutely. Stephanie, thank you so much for talking to us. I love your face. I love your You're face. You're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, seriously. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.